Hello again, everybody. So this is the same tutorial for the third time. First off, I made a video on how to use Quizlet to print flashcards into A4 paper, but then Quizlet removed the feature. So I made my second video using a tool called Outlier, but now that tool became paid. So here we go again, and let's hope that the third time is a charm. Anyway, we are going to use Anki, which is a free substitute for Quizlet, used by millions. So this method will be stable, hopefully. First off, let's download Anki. We go to the website. I will leave all the links in this video in the description. So here we have two main versions, Qt5 and Qt6. The main difference between the two, which can be found here, is that while Qt6 is newer, Qt5 is more add-on compatible. And since we are going to use a couple of add-ons, let's go for Qt5 for the sake of being safe. The installation is pretty straightforward. Installed. And that is that. We launch Anki. After choosing the language, we will get this window. After the installation, we are going to install our first add-on, which is going to let us export from Quizlet. Improved Quizlet to Anki 2.1 importer. We copy the number down here and go to Tools, Add-ons, Get add-ons, paste the code, OK. It will tell us that it succeeded and we need to restart. So OK, close Anki, restart it, and that is that. Now we go to Quizlet, to the set we want to uh, import. Copy the URL, we go to Anki, Tools, Import from Quizlet, paste the URL, import the, and we imported it. Here we go. Now we can edit it and browse it. We click on Browse here. We can change the font. Um, we can make the text bold. We can center the text from here. We can even add pictures from here. Um, we can make a lot of changes. I do recommend using Anki um, to make your own sets instead of Quizlet. It's completely free. It has all the features that Quizlet provides and more for no cost at all, like adding pictures. Uh, that is paid, a paid feature in Quizlet. It is free here along with lots more. And to make your Quizlet, uh, your Anki uh, set, you simply click here on create deck and then choose the name of your deck like learning. Then you click here on the set, you click on um, add, you, tr you write what you want on the front and what you want on the back. Add, you can add more to, that's your first two cards. You can go on making more and more cards and so on. And here you have your set. You can browse it and change it like we said. You can study it from here and so on. Now for our second add-on that we will use to actually print the cards. We go to this page. I will leave all in the description, as I said. We copy the code as before. Tools, add-ons, get add-ons, the code, OK. Now we have our second add-on. We we'll start Quizlet. But for this, 
add-on to work properly we need to have this software the link is here we need to have it um, WK HTML to PDF we need to have it installed it is mainly to export the file that we are going to copy as a PDF now the this tool didn't work for me but we are going to uninstall it and uh, download it and install it anyway so we click here which will uh, download the 64 bit for Windows 11 which I am on you can choose um, the link that goes with your operating system anywhere anyway I have it um, here yes the installation is pretty far uh, pretty straightforward I agree install and that is it now we go back to Anki we are going to configure our add-on here from tools add-ons and here the export print flashcards to paper here we have config now we resize this to make it readable so first thing padding it's the space between cards you can't change it plain text if we set it to false we print cards uh, the cards with the changes in format we do uh, in the browse tab like centering the text or making it bold the things we did just now I recommend it to be set to false so if you set it to true the text will always be plain text of default size and no format changes the repeat question on answer makes one side having the question and the other having the answer and the question I will keep it in false then here if you don't want to install uh, in I mean the create PDF if you don't want to uninstall the software we talked about WKHTM to PDF you can set create PDF to false and it won't create PDF at all and it won't need this software but I am setting it to true for now here we can change the generated file date the name and the directory it's saved to here in paper you can change the printing paper layout cards per column and per row um, format of paper we are using A4 paper uh, so we are setting it to A4 and orientation of paper landscape or portrait you can look uh, at the notes here and change these accordingly and if you mess up anything you can always click on restore defaults here we click on ok to save now to generate the files to print we uh, click on our set we want to print we click on tools export to, pop to paper cards it will give us a PDF and an HTML as you can see the PDF for me doesn't work it looks messed up like this so if this is happening with you you will simply go to the HTML and continue it's very simple but if it is working for you then that's great you will stick to the PDF and just print it but if your PDF looks like what I showed you, like this, you will have to click on HTML. It will open the browser. This procedure is the same for any browser. I'm using Google Chrome. It's a pretty much the same for Firefox or any other browser. We will click on the three dots here. Um, print. Uh, if you want to print it from here you click on more settings um, print or on both sides of course and flip on short page and print you choose the, your printer here all right but better yet you can save it as PDF and print it using Adobe 
so save and save on desktop now this is our file we simply click on print print to both sides flip on short age because we are on landscape our pages are landscape and print so here is the end product you can always change the number of cards per row and per column in the add-on to change how many cards per page there are and here are the cards after cutting them using a ruler you can always of course cut them more accurately and the end result will be a bit better thanks for watching and please if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe the channel to support it thanks again